Here we have an interesting little word problem uh, where we're asked to write and evaluate a polynomial expression. And so let's go through the first part of this and then we'll uh, see if we can't write a polynomial expression and then we'll use that uh, in a couple of cases to evaluate a polynomial expression. So we're told here that Kachima is making a triangular, is making triangular bandanas for the dogs and cats in her pet club. The base of the bandana is the length of the collar with four inches added to each end to tie it on. And the height is one half of the collar length. And let's, let's go ahead and read this. How, how much fabric does she need in square inches? That's what we're eventually going to have to solve. Let's kind of go through this and break this down. One, we see that we're doing triangular bandanas. And we're given a definition for the base. And we're given a definition for the height. And we're going to end up trying to solve this in terms of square inches. Now, hopefully, as we look at this triangle base height, it may cause us to remember that the area of a triangle is one half the base times the height. That equals the area of a triangle. And we're obviously talking about the era, area because we've got to have enough fabric to make these bandanas. So let's, uh, well, let's start trying to define some variables. Let's say that uh, B is going to be the base and H is going to be the height. And then we also have some information about the length of the collar. So B for base, H for height, L for length. And of course, to find the area, I need to get the base and the height. So what do we see here about the base? The base is the length of the collar, L, plus four inches added to each end to tie it on. So we could say then that the base equals the length plus eight inches, the length being the length of the collar. And let's see, how about the height? The height, it looks like that may be spelled wrong. The height is one half of the collar length. So the height then is one half L. Let me move this L over here. One half L. All right, so I've got enough information here now to get my to write my polynomial expression, the area is equal to one half times the length of the collar plus eight inches times one half the length of the collar. One half the base times the height. All right, Shazam. All right, so let's see. Now we're gonna evaluate. If Kachima's dog has a collar length of 12 inches, how much fabric does she need? So we got a, so we got L. We can substitute 12 in here for L into our expression. So let's see. Then we would have that the area is equal to one half 12 plus eight, 12 inches for the collar, eight for the four inches on each end to tie it on, times one half 12, one half times 12, the length of the collar. Now we're, now we're ready to solve this. So let's see, we got one half, 12 plus eight is 20, one half times 20, and one half times 12 is six. So we got one half times 20 times six, and so our area then is going to equal, let's see, one half times 20 is 10, and 10 times 6 is 60, and we got 60 square inches is how much fabric we need for this bandana for this particular dog. Now, I got a feeling Kachima's going to want to do one for a cat. Let's see if that's true. 
Oh, sure enough, she's got one she wants to make for her friend's cat, and it's a six-inch collar. So now remember, we'd already determined that our nothing has changed regarding our polynomial expression. It's one-half times the base, which is the length of the collar, plus eight, times the height, which is one-half the length of the collar. Well, let's substitute in six inches, six-inch collar for this cat, and we can solve this. So the area then is one half times six, the length of the collar, plus eight, still the same four inches on either end to tie it on, times one half times the length of the collar, which again is six. Well, let's see, uh, then we got one half, six plus eight is 14. And one half times six is three. And so the area of fabric, the amount of fabric we need to make this cat's bandana, let's say one half times 14 is seven. And seven times three is 21. And we're gonna need 21 square inches for this cat collar. Wonderful. Don't you just love to think your way logically through and reason your way through to solve a problem? It's kind of like puzzles.